Let's have a look at question 31 in this video. So if the true mean of the filling weight is 52 grams, then the power of the appropriate z-test with a significance level of 5% is going to be the following. Now, before going any further, let's define what the power is. So the power is equal to the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when we should. When we should. Now, in this case, we would like to reject the null hypothesis given that the actual mean of the population is 52 grams. So in our case, we're looking for the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis given that the actual mean is equal to 52 grams. Now, what we had in the previous video was the following hypothesis. We were testing whether the mean is equal to 50 grams. Now, when do we reject the following hypothesis? Let's recall that. Well, we would reject it if the z value of the following test reject h0 if the z value is less than minus 1.96 critical value or z is greater than 1.96 critical value because recall at the significance level alpha of 0 0.05 these are the following critical values 1.96 and minus 1.96 they're always two critical values because it's a symmetric distribution the standard normal distribution is symmetric and we have a two-sided test meaning that we could either find a rejection value in the right side or in the left side of the distribution so let, let's draw this let's draw this on a graph and work with it we have the standard normal distribution the z standard normal distribution with the mean of zero and we have the following rejection sorry the following critical values as we call them 1.96 and minus 1.96 and we know that we would reject the null hypothesis if the z values belong in these shaded regions but these are the z values. What we're interested in is to find out what are the corresponding values of the uh, weight, of the, of the filling weight. So because this is already the standardized value, we want to convert this into x values. We want to find out for which x values we are going to reject the null hypothesis. So how are we going to do that? We are going to take into account the fact that these are, these are standardized values, meaning that the value of x the average value of x so we're looking for the mean weight of the sample minus the mean of the population relative to the standard error which is equal to the standard deviation divided by the square root of n must be less than or equal to minus 1.96 to be in this range region and the same z value must be greater than or equal to 1.96 to be in the other region over here so let's work out the math now what is what is the mean of the sample well we don't know yet we're looking for it we're looking for which sample mean are we going to reject the null hypothesis that's our goal to find at the moment now what's going to be the mean of the population well under the null hypothesis that we were testing the mean of the population is equal to 50 grams so we'll keep that in mind and I forgot to, wrote, to write them here from the previous question. The sigma, the standard deviation was 6 and the sample size was 36. So let's keep that in mind not to forget it. Now let's work out the math here. We know that we would reject the null hypothesis if the following holds true. So the sample mean minus the population mean of 50 divided by the standard deviation of 6 over square root of 36 must be less than or equal to minus 1.96 at the same time this relationship must be greater than or equal to 1.96 now if we solve the math over here we would find out that the sample mean of the uh, of the weight must be less than or equal to 48.04 or the same sample mean must be greater than or equal to 51.96 in other words, if we draw this on a normal distribution, not the standard one, just the normal distribution for the filling weight. So if we do it over here, the normal distribution for the filling weight of x. That's how we call it, right? x is our variable, the filling weight. Assuming that the population mean, assuming that the population mean is 50. So if we draw here our 50, 
our rejection region, our critical values for which we're going to reject the hypothesis have to be either less than 48.04. It's going to be this region over here or 51.96, this region over here, 51.96 over here. But then recall that we want to find out the probability of finding such a rejection region given that the actual mean is 52. So what would happen if the actual mean is 52 grams but not 50 grams? And we'll do so in the next video.